Hello and in this video we are going to discuss in brief what is algebra and a very very brief history about algebra. Now in our earlier chapters and earlier videos we have discussed a lot about numbers. So what we have done is we discussed about whole numbers, natural numbers, what were the various properties of those numbers. Then we also learned about HCF, LCM, divisors, multiples and so on. So all that which we studied about pure numbers comes within the field of what is known as arithmetic. It simply means the study of numbers which is what we already did earlier. And then we also discussed about the shapes that we see in our day to day lives. So we studied about different type of first we studied the basic geometrical concepts like that of a point, a line. Okay, and then we uh, studied about various geometric shapes like square, polyhedrons, triangles and so on. We also studied about finding, measuring the length of an object or measuring the area of squares and rectangles so that was about the study of shapes and that field in mathematics is known as geometry so that is what we have studied now algebra algebra is a branch of mathematics in which we are mainly concerned in studying about general rules which are related to the numbers now when i say rules it means we are just trying to talk of some principle or in a way some general explanation or some general observation about numbers or within the case that we are considering and one of the most important feature of algebra which we will find out is the use of letters to represent numbers so till now we were always using absolute numbers from 0 to 9 but now we will use a letter which will represent a number and how do we do it will be more detailed in our discussion on variable but before we do that let us quickly have a look at when did this algebra begin so algebra began its journey as a branch of mathematics in somewhere around 1550 BC that is around 3005 years ago and it has been observed that people in Egypt during around about this time they started using symbols to denote unknown numbers so as you can see this is how the origins of algebra were okay and now you would be interested in knowing from where does this word algebra come so this word algebra is derived from a title of a book which was written in somewhere around 825 AD by an Arab mathematician whose name was Muhammad ibn al khawarizmi of Baghdad and the starting name of the book was Al-Jabr al, -Jabr. al -Jabr. Okay, and from that this word algebra has been derived so that was about the origin of algebra now let us try to have a look at the state of algebra in ancient India so somewhere around in 300 BC the use of letters to denote unknowns and forming expressions from them was very common in India and in fact many mathematicians of India like Aryabhat, Brahmagupta, Mahavir and Bhaskar II they contribute a lot to the study of algebra and if you see the times during which they were present you will see that they were all at different times so it means that the study and contribution to algebra quite continued for some time in India and the characteristics that were there for the algebra in ancient India right so what did they do is the Indian mathematicians used names such as Beej, Varna for unknowns and they use the first letter of color names to denote the unknown variables so for example they use the word k they use the letter k from the word kala in hindi which means black they use the word ni from neela which stands for blue so they use the words like uh, they use the letters like k and ni for denoting the unknown variables 
Now the Indian name for algebra is known as Beach Ganit. Ganit means maths and Beach is the name for the unknown that the Indian mathematicians use. So Beach Ganit and it, this word was coined around by these mathematicians who we just discussed earlier. So this was a very brief introduction and history of algebra. See you in the next session where we are going to discuss about the most important concept in algebra and that of a variable.